Hi friends, this is Gautam. Welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about collusion domain. So the current generation who are all started studying networking, they are not that much aware about collusion domain. So before 20 years, we are facing issue with collusion domain. So let's we can see 10 base iPhone T. So 10 base iPhone T is like an Ethernet port, 10 Mbps port. So if you are not aware about 10 bus iPhone T, so please go through my previous video session, Introduction to Ethernet Part 1. Then afterwards you can watch this video, so you can able to understand what I am saying. Okay, so the 10 base iPhone T standard was a big change for Ethernet. So before 10 base iPhone T, we had an older Ethernet standards like 10 base 2 and 10 base 5. So if you are using 10 base 2 or 10 base 5, so we can use coaxial cable. So below you can see a picture of a coaxial cable. So that was used for 10 base 2 network. So all the computers were connected through one long coaxial cable. So it's like an bus topology. So we can connect all the systems serially through coaxial cable. So the 10 base iPhone T only introduced UTP cable. So UTP cable is an unshielded twister pair cable. So that we still use nowadays and is as, and it has a central device in the middle called star topology. So before hub we are using bus topology. So that time we can use Ethernet standard as a 10 base 2 and 10 base 5. So once the 10 base iPhone T was introduced, that was a big change in the Ethernet standard. So using 10 base iPhone T, we can use unshielded two step per cable. So using 10 base iPhone T, we can use a central device called hub. So we can connect it as a star topology. So hub is a simple device. It's basically nothing more than nothing more but a repeater so in a hub if one port receives an electrical signal it will pass that electrical signal to the rest of the port so here we can see here i am using hub as a start topology this is a start topology in cent in central device is a hub so h3 wants to send a frame to h1 so once the frame receives the hub it will be send that frame to all other port so it will send the frame to h1 as well as h2 because this is an dumb device so once receive the electrical signal on one port it will pause that electrical signal to all other port so that's why the frame receives on this port it will be forward the frames to h1 as well as h2 so h1 will receive the frame and h2 will discard the frame they don't care about that frame so here no collusion will occur so when do you, when so we do have a problem when h1 and h2 both send a frame at the same time like following situation here we can see so h1 also wants to send frame to h3 and h2 also wants to send frame to h3 so the frame will comes to the hub so the hub will forward the frame to h3 so here we can see both frame will crashes so here the collision will be occur so to deal with this collision we use collision detection protocol called csma slash cd so the collision detection protocol we can use like carrier sense multi-axis and collusion detection so about this protocol i already give you already given the explanation to the previous video tutorial so if you are not watching my previous concept please go through that my previous concept so you can come to know what is the use of carrier sense multi-axis and collusion detection so CSMA CD is a simple protocol so all the computers to the network will listen to see if anyone is transmitting your data so when we want to send something and nobody is transmitting so we can transmit your frame 
so if anyone is sent we have to listen in that network if anyone is transmitting a data or not if no one is transmitting data then only we have to transmit the data so this is called off duplex so we cannot transmit and receive at the same time when two computers decide they can transmit we still get a collusion so carrier sends multi axis and collusion detection also describe how we can retransmit a frame so this carrier sends multi axis and collusion detection is done by computer so our computers only using this one because hub is a dumb device so they don't use by hub okay so in this picture since we can get collusion with the hub we can call this a collusion domain so in hub we have using three pc still there is an only one collusion domain so at a time any one pc can send or receive the data so rest of the pc should wait if more than if two pcs at a time trying to send the data means the collusion will be occur so for that reason we can use collusion carrier sense multi axis and collusion detection we are using that protocol so next one ethernet bridge so 10 base iphone t with its utp cabling and central hub were a big improvement when compared to the coax network but there is still we are facing issue with collusion so the more network device you add the more collusion you add so the carrier sense multi axis and collusion detection logic where device had to wait before they could transmit or retransmit so it will impact the performance so the carrier sense multi axis and collusion detection is used to transmit and retransmit the data so it will impact the have to have to wait before they could transmit or retransmit it will impact the performance so if network device could somehow transmit and receive at the same time like full duplex without causing collusion so we could get a nice performance improvement so that's why when ethernet bridge was introduced so this is a kind of switch was able to learn the mac address and only forward the ethernet frames when it was required it was also able to store the ethernet frames in the memory to prevent the collusion from happening so because if you are using hub is a dumb device so that's why the collusion will be occur but in ethernet bridge is a kind of switch it will learn the mac address and stored in the table so that's why it won't in collusion domain so at a time we can send and receive so whenever the switch was able to learn the mac address and only forward the ethernet frames when it was required so it was it was also able to store the ethernet frame in a memory to prevent collusion from happening so here we can see the bridge were placed in between the hub so here the bridge is connected between two hub so this is a one collusion domain this is an another collusion domain so here in this collusion domain so any one pc at a time can send or receive same like here also any one pc at a time can send or receive data so for bridge have two collusion domain so the bridge would break our collusion domain into two so on each side of the bridge collusion can still occur because of hub so each and every side of the bridge the collusion will be occur because of hub so the collusion cannot occur from one side to another one side of our bridge to other side of our bridge it don't occur so from this collusion it don't occur to this side it will be occur within the hub so that's why i'm saying in this point so next one ethernet switch so our switch that we still use nowadays still has the same logic of the bridge 
it learns the MAC address and stores the Ethernet frames and only forward them when needed. So switch is an intelligent device. So in a switch, how many PCs are connected? Each and every port have an individual collision domain. So we can send or receive your data at the same time. So the difference is that it is much faster use specialized hardware and as a lot of interfaces. So here we can see in a switch I connected four PC. Each and every connected port have individual collision domain. So at that time four PC can send and receive the data. So one thing to consider is that if you connect a hub to your switch, you will still have collision. Here is an example. So here we can see in that switch, uh, one port is connected to the hub. In that hub, I have two PC. So still here, we are facing some collision domain. So collision domain will occur here. So because here we are connected hub, so two PCs are connected. So any one PC can send or receive. Both PC cannot send at a time. So in a switch, by default, carrier sends multi-axis and collision detection will be disabled. So if you are connected hub now, it should be enabled. Okay friends, so I hope you can understand the collusion domain. So what is meant by collusion domain? So before using switch and bridge, we are using hub. So before hub, we are using coaxial cable. We are connecting the device like bus topology. So after introducing the hub, that is 10 base iPhone T standard is a big change in Ethernet standard. So using hub as a centralized device. So using hub and also we can use anti UTP cable. So unshielded two step cable. So in hub, we are facing the collision issue. So in a hub, if you are connected four PCs also at a time, one PC can send or receive data if more than one pc try to communicate the collision will be occur so after the up we can develop bridge so once the bridge was introduced we can store the frame in the table before bridge hub is a dumb device nothing will be stored in that so if one port receives an electrical signal it will pass that electrical signal to the all other port so in bridge we can store the frame so whenever it requires so through the table it will forward that frame so after bridge we develop switch so in switch it's like an advanced when compared to the bridge each and every port have an individual collision domain and at that time each and every port can send and receive the data so i will show it to you in packet tracer so in packet tracer i am using hub and i am using 3 pc so pc2 10.0.0.1 here 10.0.0.2 here 10.0.0.3 so now pc0 and pc1 at a time try to ping pc2 so what will happen let's we can see i will cap so pc0 to pc2 next one pc1 to pc2 so i put it in simulation mode so now both PCs will send the frame to the hub. So immediately the collision will be occur. Here we can see the packet will be firing. So it's showing the collision will be happening. Okay, friends. Okay, friends, thank you for watching my video. So I hope you can understand the collusion domain. So in case if you are not understanding the collusion domain means, so please ping me in below comment section. If you have any queries, I will reply back to your query. So thank you, friends. Thank you for watching my videos and subscribe my channel for further updates. Thank you.